he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. He'll look to throw. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. They'll drop to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. The first down carry for Davis. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now it's Elway. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. From the gun on third down, it's Elway. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now a hit and a loose football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And all the way home for a Broncos score. It's the fullback. 33 yards. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble think you got a chance at a turnover and instead not only do you give up the football you also give up a touchdown as well yeah you just think to yourself you've done all the hard work right you forced the fumble but when they didn't come up with it I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them the extra point splits the uprights and it's now 21 to 7. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. 
And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Obviously, this has not been a better game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Only needing two yards on second down. They'll set up to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Looks to me, Parker, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. And Jones has it over the middle. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Three down. They'll look to throw. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Back to throw now on first down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. And that sack, Charles, just looked like the case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Back to throw here. Keeps himself upright. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. He definitely would like to hit on that one because now you've got a third and long showing up, and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back, and they are coming. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Broncos will take over on downs. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now a handoff to Davis. A solid stiff arm. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Good job, good job. First down, Elway. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Let's do it! At the Falcons, 15-yard line. Here's Elway to throw. A dump off for Davis. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll lead here to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now Elway. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A field goal try forthcoming now for the Broncos. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here. But I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Haynes. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. He goes underneath for Anderson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. He'll drop to throw. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. That's a good bounce back play right there. You're taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. The Falcons on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gonzalez. And he's going to go. have the Falcons go. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A dump off to Anderson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Looks like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progression, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. Handoff comes to Anderson, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. It's picked up by the Broncos. And this one will be brought back to the 22. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Denver's offense ready to go again. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Let's go. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run got a couple here. Second and eight. Here's Davis. He'll try and run some clock. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. They go again with Davis. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they went a little cautious there on third and long. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Remember, they're playing with a lead right now. So getting a first down, yes, that would be great. But even more importantly, take care of the football. No turnovers, no big plays for the other team. And keep the clock moving. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance.